a simple guide to set up crypto mining to generate passive income. In the wise words of Warren Buffett, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. If there's anything the pandemic taught us is that we all need an alternative source of income to add to the one we get from our primary job. Because of that, people have been turning their attention to passive income. And the one avenue that's getting a lot of attention today is cryptocurrency. It just so happens that aside from the traditional way of directing purchasing cryptocurrencies, people can also start crypto mining. If you're one of those people who's interested in getting into crypto mining, then this video would help you get an idea of what the mining process really is and where to start. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe and notification bell to get future updates on new videos from Big Brain Money. What is crypto mining? Now, we know you're excited to get into the how, but for you to actually be able to start, you first need to understand what crypto mining is all about. Contrary to what it sounds like, crypto mining isn't about using programs that scour the internet finding bitcoins or ether. Crypto mining is when miners or validators engage in the validation of cryptocurrency transactions. By doing this, they're actually helping keep the blockchain network secure while also ensuring that double spending of cryptocurrencies isn't happening. By securing and validating the blockchain network, miners are incentivized for their work, which comes in the form of the blockchain's native cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, for example. The incentives given to them are then added to the coins that are currently in circulation. So, in a way, this is the manner by which coins are minted or created. Proof of Work versus Proof of Stake There are essentially two types of mining or validating transactions. This could be done via Proof of Work or Proof of Stake. To explain further, let's use Ethereum and Bitcoin as the example for each. Mining for Bitcoin Let's say you wanted to mine for Bitcoin. That would mean that your method of validation would be via proof of work. The term work is used because miners from all over the world verify transactions through processing power. Basically, miners use powerful hardware to solve complex mathematical problems and the first computer to offer up a solution receives bitcoins as an incentive. Then the whole process starts again. So how much do Bitcoin miners earn? Well, it's worth nothing that the amount of Bitcoin a miner earns for solving a complex mathematical problem decreases as the years go by, primarily because of the sheer amount of new miners entering the market. According to Investopedia, miners who were able to acquire Bitcoin back in 2009 earned 50 BTC. The amount was then halved to 25 BTC by 2012, then again in 2016 at 12.5 BTC. As of May 2020, the reward was 6.25 BTC. As more and more people attempt to mine Bitcoin, the harder the mathematical problems become, and the less BTC is being given out as incentive. But keep in mind that although the amount of BTC reward being given is reduced over time, the worth for BTC continues to increase, which makes the mining of BTC still profitable in the coming years. Now that you know what mining is and how much you can possibly earn, the next question is what exactly do you need? For mining Bitcoin, you'd need mining hardware, and a powerful one at that. Now there are a lot of mining rigs available out there. But given the sheer amount of competition you have today, it's probably safe to say that you need the most powerful one available to even stand a chance. The most powerful mining rig available today is the Application Specific Integrated Circuit, or ASIC. ASICs are powerful integrated circuits that were specifically built for mining cryptocurrencies. In this particular case, Bitcoin. A single unit can cost thousands of dollars, which to anyone sounds ridiculously expensive. Unfortunately, it doesn't end there, because the amount of electrical power that these machines consume is enormous. So you need to consider the expense of purchasing a mining rig along with the electrical bill that you'd incur once to start mining. There are cheaper ways of mining Bitcoin, such as renting mining gigs. But having one of your own is considered to be the most secure way of going about it. 
Suppose you were able to acquire a number of these hardware units, you can opt to join a mining pool. A mining pool is a collaboration of miners where you all combine the processing power of all your hardware to better increase the chance of gaining Bitcoin. You then split your earnings equally among yourselves. Mining for Ether So that's for Bitcoin. What about mining Ethereum? For Ethereum, we use the proof-of-stake mechanism. Ethereum developers acknowledge the scalability issue that comes with the proof-of-work method, which is why they chose to adapt the process to something more practical for their network. In this method, staking is the process in which miners would stake their own crypto for the chance to be picked to validate a transaction or update a blockchain. Once the validation or update is complete, the randomly chosen validator would earn the reward, again with the network's native cryptocurrency. This method is used not just for Ethereum, but for other cryptocurrencies as well, such as Cardano, Atmos, and Tezos. The higher amount of coins you stake, the higher the likelihood of being chosen for the validation process. It must be noted, however, that you can also mine ETH using the proof-of-work model. That would entail, again, purchasing a mining rig or opting to use other cheaper mining services. If you decide to purchase a mining rig for mining Ethereum, it doesn't necessarily have to be as powerful as an ASIC. Other mining rigs, such as a GPU, can be used and are proven to still provide a decent reward. Summary In summary, there are basically two major models you can follow to mine cryptocurrency. You can either go for proof-of-stake, which rewards miners with higher processing power and those who put in a lot more processing work. Or, you can go with Proof of Stake, which requires you to stake your own coins to earn a chance to participate in the validation process. In both cases, there is the need for a certain amount of investment before you can expect to participate in the mining process. The more time and money you invest, the greater the chance for you to be rewarded with cryptocurrency. Each cryptocurrency may have specific instructions on how they go about the mining process, but the two major ideas still apply. So before you actually start mining cryptocurrency, you need to decide what specific crypto you want to mine for. It's also beneficial that you learn other mining services, such as renting mining rigs or mining via the cloud. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, you must choose the method that best suits your budget and the amount of risk you're willing to take for the process. Was this simple guide to set up your crypto mining helpful? If so, smack that like button. If not, hit the subscribe button. Comment down below and be sure to watch these other videos from Big Brain Money.